In this episode, we return to the Hale Manu Home Tiki Bar in Nashville, Tennessee to make Mo Birds famous. And I mean like really incredible Navy Grog. <music> Aloha and welcome back to Spike's Breezeway Cocktail Hour. I would love to welcome back to her own home tiki bar, Mrs. Mo Bird and Justin Bird. Hello. Hi, Mo. How are it's you? It's good to see you good again. Good to see you as well. Yep. Why don't you go uh, to your, yes, your station here? My station, my Thanks spot. Thanks for having us here. Yes, thank you. <laughs> at our own bar. <laughs> What's been going on since the last time we, we saw you guys? Drinks. Mm -hmm. Building more stuff in the bar. A lot of parties, a lot of festivals. Yeah. yeah. Festivals. Makahiki, Makahiki we went to. Yes. Yeah. Doing it again? Yes. Mm -hmm. Hukilao. Sorry, Hukilao. Mm -hmm. We will be going to Makihiki in just a few days. So yes. once this thing is aired, we'll have uh, already experienced Makihiki. What I really can't wait for is your Navy Croc. You're like, let me make a Navy Croc for you. And I go, okay, whatever. It's probably good. I didn't expect it to be phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> and so for this cocktail, we will be using limes, white grapefruit juice, Honey syrup. Oh wait, is that honey syrup? It's honey and okay. butter. Ooh, we will learn more about this shortly. Yes, and all the rums. So four different rums. Yes. Hamilton Jamaican pot still gold. Don Q gold. It's a gold Puerto Rican rum. It's a jug of rum jug right there. Jug of rum. Right? <laughs> El Dorado eight year, which is a Demerara, right? It is yeah. a Demerara. And our favorite, because we're at the Halimano, which means house of birds yeah. in yes. Hawaiian. Yes. yes. Dr. Bird. Don't Dr. tell Ed Hamilton. <laughs> oh no. He's going to be watching this. I know. He's going to be mad. Um, We're using one of his rums here. Yes, so, we are. Of course. One yes. of my favorite rums. I know. My favorite. If you were going to substitute these rums for other rums, is there a substitution for pot still gold? Yes, pot still black from Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> People are always like, well, what other rums can I use? Yeah. And it's like, well, you're yeah. better off just getting these. Yeah. Right. I mean, or, I prefer those. Like, if you were to swap out, say, a Karuba or yes. a Myers, but then use maybe some Dr. Bird mm -hmm. as, a, as a little Funkafire. Funkafire. That'd be a great rum funk name. Funkafire. A Funkafire. Okay, so how are we going to make this this drink? Cut some lime. I don't sure. have a shoein. Shein. Shein. This is my favorite show. They, they know all the stuff. I mean. Ooh, yeah. that's a. That's a dull knife. <laughs> damn, dude. <laughs> Thanks, Jezebel. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we need a shoon. <laughs> Maybe. What is this? Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Jeff Granito. Jeff Granito, a glass, a bird. glass bird. Bird cutting board. Okay. Mm -hmm. There so you go. Be, thank you. Mm -hmm. It's three quarter ounce lime. Per cocktail? Per cocktail, yes. Okay. And I'm not using a shaker. Tin. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to use the blender. Oh, because we're going to use the mixer. Yeah, we're going to oh, use the mixer. That's okay. It's a little under three quarters, so I'm going to add a, just a tiny bit more. See the precision of Mo Bird? I don't know mm. about that. There. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Dump that in. Next is three quarters of an ounce of the white grapefruit juice. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have fresh, like some people. <laughs> it's like attacking me from my Never. white grapefruit tree. We're just We're very just jealous. jealous, that's mm. all. We have white grapefruit envy. No. So if you want to send us white grapefruit, so this is like the special ingredient for your Navy Grog, as well as the rum blend. Yes. Otherwise, everything's the same as like the original. Correct. The standard yes. down the beachcomber. Right. Navy Grog. Right. Except I don't put in the tonic water. Oh, like no bubbly. Either. No bubbly. Yeah. And I don't care for that. The club soda, right? Or club soda. Excuse yeah. me. I didn't miss it. So, I bought a whole bottle of honey, and then I went ahead and poured about a quarter of the honey into another honey jar that I have, mm -hmm. because I needed room for my unsalted butter. It's about four tablespoons. I cut the up okay. slices, I unscrew the top. So you don't make honey syrup? I put the butter in. Yeah, and no, sometimes you can. You could uh, You could add a you little could. water, I heat did. it up, and then that way you it's did. a little more runny honey. I did. That's what you call it when you make a honey syrup, right? Runny honey? Runny runny honey. honey. Yeah. Runny honey. So four tablespoons, slivered, so it fits in there. If they're in the microwave, 45 seconds, you gotta watch it. Oh, okay, so then you kinda like heat it up. Heat it up yeah. that okay. way, yes. And, and then you just shake it. it. And then I added in some hot water. Just to top it off? Just to top it off and make it less. Less viscous. Yes, thank you. And I can't take credit for this though. Oh no. It's been borrowed from a previous Tiki Night bar. There was a, a bar here in Nashville that was doing Tiki Nights mm -hmm. and they added butter to their honey syrup for a Navy Grog. Oh. And we were like, ooh. We like this? This is good. 
oh. we started putting in hours in, but we just uh, you honed we, the recipe. Yeah, added more rum. Right. Yeah. You sure did. You sure did. <laughs> when, when in doubt, <laughs> we there was a photo shoot here earlier, and my friend Sabina Kelly, who was doing the post coaching for my photography, yes. drank her Navy Grog and said, "I'm melting into the stool." She kind of did. Uh, that's a compliment. Yeah. I went a but little overboard on the rums. Yeah. I won't this time. You poured one extra ounce? I might have. Oops. Whoops. I may have. Oh no. Oh, no. I wasn't complaining. <laughs> yeah. I was like, man, this is a great Navy Grog. Thank you. Okay. So how much of that? An ounce. Ooh. A lot of honey syrup butter. A lot butter. of honey syrup. Yeah. And that's the original recipe. Mm -hmm. Calls for an ounce of honey syrup. Okay. Yeah. Down the beach corner recipe. Not yeah, yeah. Cakes. Right, right. Dump that in there. Go. Mm -hmm. And then we start with the rums. Okay. Justin Bird. Rum, 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 and rum. So normally you would do one ounce of three types of rum, Jamaican, Puerto Rican, Demerara. But since we want to add a little Dr. Bird there to up the funk, a lot of times what I'll do is maybe three quarter ounces of the Hamilton Jamaican. Okay. Good. So good. Oh, what do you think about corks? <laughs> Fan of corks. <laughs> three quarters of an ounce, he says. Well, it's a little over. That's fine. Everything has to be super precise, except for the rum. 100%. Let's say three quarter ounces of the Puerto Rican. And the big guy. Uh -huh. Thanks. Do you like you? using these little... Um, I love using those. Yeah, me That's too. the only one I can use. Yeah, the Japanese style jiggers get very confused. I agree with you. <laughs> I know some people love them and use them all the time, but I can't. Mm -hmm. I, I prefer these. I think if you're like a professional bartender and you're going fast, it's probably real. I agree. If you learn them. Right. But if you're just like a schmo. Schmo. I'm a schmo. <laughs> Schmo! Mo! <laughs> like it's like Mo! Yeah. Which, alright, yeah. sorry. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Can you pour this? Because I feel like I'm going to dump it all over you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, after saying that, she's probably like, <laughs> pour it down my pants. Okay. Three quarters? Yes, yeah. Thank we're, you. We're leaving a little room for, uh, for the bird. Leave a little room for the bird. Um, do a full ounce of that, and then we'll do a half ounce of the bird. Alright. Oh, okay. So, full ounce. All right, and then how much of the? Ooh, half ounce. Oh. Okay. That wasn't as good. That wasn't as good. Shmo will let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're making cocktails at the Holly Mono, the House of Bird, owned by the birds. That's it. You have to have Dr. Bird. You do. Yeah, I mean, you really. really do. Mm -hmm. Actually, at first, I will be honest, I didn't care for the taste. Mm -hmm. um, it was just too funky for me. And then over time, I just grew custom. So you adjust to the funk. I adjusted to the funk. And so that is the Halimanu Mo Bird Navy Grog. Or Schmobird? The Schmobird. <laughs> that sounds like a breed, like a, a Schmobird. Okay, what's the next thing we're going to do? The ice. ice. Okay. And I'm going to blend it. How you doing? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm, I'm all right. Just been hanging out in Tennessee. Yeah. For a while. Mm -hmm. You've been for what, almost a week? Yep. A lot of time in Memphis. Yeah. A lot of bad cocktails in Memphis. Yes. Sorry. I'm going to blend this. She's now. back. Uh, Go right ahead. Get left. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll do for like eight seconds. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, and in a Holly Manu glass, are these available for sale? No. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. The traditional Navy Grog ice cone. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. So help me with this. Do I put the, because I'm gonna just tell you, we don't make ice cones here when we have people over. So but the way you're that- a very special guest, so. Thank you. <laughs> so the way they traditionally did it is they would strain into this so there's no other ice. Right. Got it. Here you go. Good strain. We don't strain mine either, but that's okay. Look at that. Very good. Drop the cone. Oh, look at that, it's just about perfect. And the incredible thing about these ice cones is that you're able to slide a straw down into... Yeah, I don't know. No. No, you're not. No, we're not. I don't think a rib straw is a good Use the uh, brass one. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, I was wrong. Yeah, try the metal one. It might fit. Third time to charm. I think, to tell you the truth, Lee. Hmm. Oh. There we go. Okay. Tight. <laughs> and by movie magic, here are the other two Navy Grogs. Ta-da! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! And so, from the Holly Manu here in Nashville, Tennessee, with the birds, this is the, what do you call it? 
Schmobert. The Schmobert? The Schmobert. The Schmobert Navy Grog. There we go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. My lord, that is so, so, so good. It is good. It is buttery in texture. You really get the Dr. Bird in there. Yes. So you get the flavors of like that dark pot still punch. Yes. Yeah. Some grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Some grapefruit, uh-huh. A little bit of citrus, yeah. But the, the honey butter. butter. The honey butter. That butter. It. I could drink, I don't know, a gallon of these things. <laughs> well, no, don't, don't do that. You shouldn't do that. Let's do it. <laughs> Challenge accepted. We just had uh, Dale Watson on the show mm. like a, a couple weeks ago. And uh, he said that one night he was in Bakersfield at Tiki Co. And he drank three Navy Grogs. Oh, wow. They renamed him Bakersfield Dale because he got he turned into such a mess. I believe it. It'll do it. How many of these have you had? Today? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I've had more than three. In one sitting? Probably. Probably. <laughs> the fact that I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, is telling. exactly. Three, four or five, if you come over, we will provide with swag bags. Yeah, so if you do want one of these uh, Holly Manu glasses, become friends with them. They'll invite you to this incredible home tiki bar in the basement of their home. They might make you a schmo, maybe grog. <laughs> Sh schmo grog. They got a menu. Yeah, they have menus here. They have the coasters. coasters. But unfortunately, nothing is uh, sold online. Yeah. He's, he's a great graphic designer, and uh, he doesn't want to... Monetize? Monetize yeah. his life. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. It's shipping. I, I don't like shipping. Mm. It's oh, fun. Yeah, yeah shipping's so fun. So come to them. You're welcome to come. Yeah. <laughs> Nashville. Nashville. And give us a follow on Instagram. Oh, yes. At Holly Manu Tiki Bar. Yes, please. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Also, if you aren't already and you would like to become a member of our Patreon, I will send you this enamel pin and you will be first in line to buy new merch. Also, support Tiki Farm. Go to tikifarm.com, buy some of their stuff. They have been great supporters of this show. I'm very happy to have Tiki Farm on board. Well, thank you again well, for this incredible you. cocktail. Well, thank you. We're gonna drink these and... Uh, Pass out. <laughs> Burn it down. <laughs> <That's up. laughs> Folks, if you have enjoyed this, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you aren't already, and if you don't hit that subscribe button, <laughs> you're a loser. <laughs>